Hey everyone, welcome back to Tip of the Week. In this week's video, I wanna share with you my quick tips for creating a soft and dreamy look inside On One Photo Raw 2020. So let's jump right in and get started here. So I have this portrait inside On One Photo Raw and if I'm going for a soft and dreamy look, the first thing that I wanna do is remove a little bit of the contrast from the image. And an easy way to do that is to go inside of our Develop tab here and let's head down to Tone and Color. And we're gonna start with this camera profile area here. If you're shooting in RAW, you have this ability to change your camera profile to kind of develop a foundational look really easily. So I'm just gonna go in here to this camera profile menu and one of my favorite camera profiles to kind of neutralize the image and take away some of the harsh contrast is this On One Portrait. So as soon as I choose that On One Portrait, you can see it really livens up the midtones a bit and it takes away a lot of that really harsh contrast on the scene. So we already have a softer look. If you're shooting in JPEG, however, you're not going to have this camera profile option available to you. So what I would do is, we're just going to go back to On One Standard, and I would head down to your tone and color, and I would go into your midtones and pull up on your midtones a bit. That's going to pull out a lot of the skin tones in your photograph. And then to remove some of the contrast, just head up to your contrast slider, and we can just pull it back a little bit. And voila! If I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, the image is a lot softer already, and that's just from a couple sliders here. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna take these back to normal, and I'm gonna use that on one portrait. And now that we've set that sort of soft foundational look, we can actually go into the effects tab here, and we can start adding creative filters to really nail this soft and dreamy look. So let's add a filter. And in these filters, one of my favorite filters for softening up an image is this glow filter. Now the glow filter brings on sort of a fuzzy look to your shot, so it's really good at bringing in kind of a moodier, uh, dreamy vibe into your scene. So let's go into the glow filter and inside the glow filter It's really easy to use if you're not sure what to do. I'd recommend just using these presets here They're really awesome at softening up your look. Uh, these charge mores are probably my favorite ones to use I'm actually going to use this charge more strong for this photograph But if you actually want to customize the glow filter for your own look uh, It's really easy to use the amount slider basically determines how much of the glow is applied to your photo So if I pull this up, you can see it adds on a lot of glow well, below that we have the halo, and the halo is basically the size of the glow. So if I pull this up, you can see it's a lot fuzzier and it's a lot softer. So you can keep this halo up and you can maintain that sort of really dreamy soft look on your shot. I'm just gonna go in here to this more menu and I'm gonna go back to charge more strong. And I'm gonna head down to this halo area and I'm gonna pull this up quite a bit and that's gonna make it a little bit more fuzzy and a little bit more soft on my shot. So let's turn this off and on here. And wow, it's really intense on the photograph, but I do like what it's doing to the shot. So let's actually mask this out from our subject first, because if we zoom in here and we turn this off and on, you can see it's kind of muddying up these colors in here, making them really saturated, and her face looks a little bit too orange for my liking. So what we're gonna do to protect that is we're just gonna mask this out from the face of our model here. To do that, we're gonna grab our masking bug. I'm gonna hit M on my keyboard, and then I'm gonna head up to the top tool modifier bar here and I'm gonna make sure that my shape is set to center. And the reason I want center is because when I choose this shape and I drop it on my photograph, it's telling Photo Raw to apply the filter to everywhere outside of the mask and protect everywhere inside of my mask. So if I wanna protect the areas inside my mask, I'm gonna choose center, I'll just drop this down. And you can see now already it's protecting this area, the area inside my mask from this glow filter. So let's just make this a little bit smaller with these edges here. I'll just kind of drop it on her face. And then I'm just gonna take these perforated edges and I'm gonna pull these back a little bit. And that's gonna feather the adjustment and make sure that it's blended in with the scene a little bit better. So now if I turn off this glow filter, I really like what it's doing to soften up the areas around our model. And I think we could actually pull this feathering in just a little bit about there to bring in a little bit more glow onto the scene. So now if we turn this off and on, but I really like what that's glow, that glow is doing to kind of soften up the mood of the shot and really add that dreamy vibe into it. So now let's add another filter. And another filter that I really like to use whenever I'm creating a soft and dreamy look is this Sun Flare filter. Now Sun Flare is new to Photo Raw 2020 and it gives you the ability to add on Sun Flare overlays onto your scene. And just by adding this, if I turn the Sun Flare off and on, I really like what it's doing to bring that sort of backlit effect onto the shot. It looks like there was a bunch of sun kind of beaming into the shoot. And it makes a really nice look for the shot. So let's go into the sun flare filter 
and we can modify it a bit to the taste of the shot. So down here, I'm actually gonna pull up on the amount of the sun flare, and that's gonna make it 100% uh, on the scene. And then I'm gonna go down to my tone and color, and I'm gonna make sure that the saturation is up a bit, and that's gonna kinda match that warm color on the shot, bringing in some of that vibrance and saturation into the sun flare. So if I turn the sun flare off and on now, I really like what it's doing to kind of create that backlit effect, but it's applied way too much onto her face. So let's go back to that glow filter that we used. We'll go into those masking options because we created that mask earlier to mask it out. Let's just click copy here. We'll go back up to our sun flare filter and then we'll just click paste. And perfect. Now it's removed it from her face and now we really have kind of accentuated that backlight effect from that sun flare filter. So now that we've added on that sun flare and our glow filter, if we turn off the effects that we're using, I really like what's going on as far as the soft and dreamy look goes, but I think we could apply a little bit more contrast to make the image pop a bit more. So let's add a filter and I'm going to add one of my favorite stylizing filters of all time, the LUTs filter. So if I click on LUTs, uh, the LUTs filter immediately will apply a nice style onto your shot. And to customize the style, you can just go into the LUTs filter and you can choose what category you want. And then in any of these categories, there's a ton of awesome looks that you can use for your photograph. Well, to create the soft and dreamy look, I'm actually going to go down to this Venus preset. And if I turn this on, it looks atrocious on the scene. If I turn this off and on, it's intensely bright and it's blowing out pretty much everywhere on the shot. But we can modify this to our taste and bring on that contrast while also keeping the mid-tones and highlights nice and bright. So let's go up to our LUTs here and we have our Venus LUT selected. Well, I'm going to go in here to our blending options by clicking on this gear icon. I'm going to go down to my blending options and I'm going to change my mode up to soft light. Now what the soft light blend mode is doing is it's blending in this LUTs filter onto my scene by creating contrast with it. And that's awesome for the shot because we do need a little bit of contrast because we removed so much earlier. So let's click this soft light and it's already doing a better job of blending this filter onto the shot, but it's pretty intense. So what I do in situations like this is I'll just pull the opacity down all the way and then I'll just incrementally pull it back up until I get the look that I'm going for. And I think that's a pretty good look right there about around like 40 or 50% of that filter. I really love what it's doing to brighten this area up on the background, but it also is maintaining the nice mid-tone boost in our model's face as well as the contrast that we kind of lost earlier in the edit. So now let's hit the backslash key on our keyboard. So we started with this and we've created this. And let's go back into the develop tab and I'll just turn off the lens correction real quick. It'll be a lot easier to see what's going on. So if we hit the backslash key on our keyboard now, we've taken this photograph and added in a nice soft and dreamy mood to it just by using a few different filters and sliders. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Dylan with On One. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our channel and stay updated whenever we drop new content and videos. Stay safe out there, everybody, and have a great week.